Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors, and today we're gonna test this monster truck. I think the wheels resemble that of a, this with that red on there. A little looks bit. Looks cool. Mm -hmm. But the truck itself is fairly generic looking, oh, yeah. but it does look cool. It's a four wheel drive, brushed system. It's called the Zen Li Hong Toys 9125. One tenth scale, although to me it looks a tiny bit smaller than one tenth scale. Under the hood, we have six shocks. Yeah, yeah, well, yes, two in the back. Uh, they're very soft though. Uh, they don't feel oil filled or anything. I think it's just those springs and two two in the front. Uh, but look, there's you can't see anything. They've got this shell over it. I thought about taking these screws out to take a look, but there's quite a few. And I just thought, I don't want to mess anything up for this video. But I was very motivated to do so because if we swing over here and look at the box, it says right here, double motor electronic power driven self-priming air cooling system. Look at that, look at that image right there. Two motors, very clearly two motors. I mean, they're, I don't think they're suggesting there's one and a half, one and three quarters. It's two motors. Now on this shot, it shows one with an air cooling system going around. So I kind of like that. That's kind of neat. Right here it says double motor too. It does. Double motor. I've never, I personally, in five or so years of doing YouTube, a video every single day. Almost. Almost. Have never seen two motors in a ground vehicle. Okay, so having said that, let's take a look in here. If I'm looking down And inside, you're wrong with that statement. We've had had a vehicle with two motors in it. We just had one the other day with a motor okay. in the front and back. Okay, that's that's a little different. <laughs> that, but not side by side on one drive. Okay. Yeah, okay. You're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> and you're right, technically speaking, you're right. <laughs> I can see a motor in here, but I cannot... Oh, no, I think I see it. Really? There are two motors. I only came with this little toy grade screwdriver. It ain't gonna work. No. So, but we did find this in the instructions. Trust me, I can see the two in there. It's very hard for you guys to see without a ton of light. But if you look at the little blowout chart, or blow up chart, some people even say that, there are two motors in there, side by side. Very interesting. Just back here, in the back. Uh, right yeah, there. right in here. One's on this side, one's on this side. That's crazy. Very cool. I'm sorry I didn't get that casing off there to show you guys, but it also has this air cooling system, which I think is why they have that casing on there. And let me show you how this all goes together. Once you have your Dean's connection battery, it's a 1600 milliamp little LiPo two cell battery. Once that's connected, it tucks in here pretty well. It's a little tight on space. So you can't really get a bigger battery. No, no, no. This is like... This is definitely it. This is what's interesting. That's a snug fit, by the way. Very, very snug. Then this guy clips on here. If if I can even get that to clip, because I'm telling you, that battery, it's like when these guys design the battery casing, it did fit. And they say, okay, this is the size of the battery that needs to go in there. They forget to include the wire and how the tension of the wire is, uh, like that's a very snug fit, but it, it did fit. So look at that. There's no body clips, it just snaps on? That's it, just snaps right oh. on. It's kind of an interesting concept here. We don't see this all the time. Normally we see a flat tray and everything's just kind of bolted on. This has these little ducted areas where air will come in, cool the motor, and it will come back out. We also have an air-cooled ESC receiver combo up here with a little heat sink on it. I like the thought. That's very cool. I mean, some vehicles do that, but in this price point, around $80 or so, we don't see that all the time. That feels pretty good, pretty bouncy. Uh, it's four-wheel drive. We have an included transmitter. We have steering trim, steering direction, and actually steering reverse and high-low speed on here, right on the transmitter. So that's pretty cool. Guys, this is new to me. I don't know if one motor is running on low and then it kicks in to high and that's the second motor going. I've never had two motors side by side like that on a vehicle before. So I think the best thing for us to do is just to run this very quickly. Instructions, here's our little LiPo balancing charger, two cells only. The we screwdriver's did get not a even European included. connector, but you can get cheap converters. Yes. Let's drive. Let's drive. All right, when I powered this on, Abby noticed something and it kind of caught her off guard. She knows what it is, but because there's a lot of beginners on our channel, I thought I'd share this with everybody. So I 
turned it to see if it had power. And look how much there's very little throw distance in that tire movement. So that's, uh, to me, that was an obvious, you know, we can fix that very easily by turning this knob. It says ST dot DR. That's steering dual rate, okay? What that means is we can turn up the sensitivity. I'm just gonna crank it all the way so you guys can see. Remember how it was very little movement? Now watch. Tons of movement, okay? I'll probably crank that down some while driving, but depending on where you're driving and how you're driving, you can adjust that sensitivity. The same goes with the trim, if it's veering off in one side or the other. We have high and low rates, and we can reverse our steering as well. Some people like to drive the maybe opposite way. For some reason, you can reverse that. So you're starting in low? I'm gonna start in low, yes. Okay. So we have proportional steering, and we have proportional throttle. Four wheel drive. Listen, that sounds really good, listen. And it doesn't like click when you give it throttle. Sometimes cars will click and then click when they're done. Sounds good. I'm trying to listen to those motors. Kick it in the high. Okay, hold on, let me go full throttle and low. That's full throttle. Okay, now I wanna go high. Now listen. Oh, I can feel torque difference for sure. There's an obvious difference. Two motors, okay, let's do this, I'm excited. All right, while we have a fresh battery, fully charged, let's do a bit of a speed test. I know it's not perfectly level or anything, but that's okay. And we don't have a meter on No, there. no, no. <laughs> Just wanna get a general idea. Okay, here we go, full throttle in low. This is full throttle. You guys notice how quiet that is? It is quiet. Okay, my trim needs to go to the right, or left of here. I was going to the right. Okay, that was in low. I don't know if it's bad for it to switch gears while moving, so I'm it's just probably going best to, to stop. stop. Now let's switch to high, switch of a transmitter. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh very wow. noticeable, wow. That's so cool. Okay, I don't know if you guys could tell while just watching on the camera there, but I can very, You very can much. hear it too. Oh yeah, I know, I was coasting by there. Uh, you yeah, just hear the noticeable power. Difference. Okay, I'll do one more fast drive by in the high rates. Yeah, okay, I want you to see that so you can tell the difference. That's a very intuitive switching system. I'll start on low for you. Okay. And it's all you. 